Hello everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for another exciting episode of Let's Play Shovel Knight. In the last episode, we went ahead and took out the Clockwork Tower. Oh, you didn't know, it was two episodes ago. We did the Flying Machine. We had some trouble, but we got through it alright. And in today's episode, we're going to go to the Stranded Ship, where we're going to face off against Polar Knight. So I'm sure we're going to have a lot of fantastic ice-related platforming, where it becomes really difficult for us to move. Uh, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, but god dang, this background is gorgeous. The Aurora Borealis, or however you actually pronounce it, looks in it looks incredible. I really, I really dig it. Um, but yeah, you know, just like, you know, auto-scroller, like, I have so many types of things I don't like in retro games, and one of those things is certainly, uh, I feel so bad to, like, just seeing these wolves, like, like, bounce off stuff over and over again. Um, anyway, um, one of the things I really don't like in these types of games are ice levels. They're, like, frozen water levels, you know? So it makes sense that they're pretty awful, um, especially when they throw moles at you like that. Um, the main thing is it just, it, it really, it really throws off, like, your platforming. You know, just in the fact that you have, um, this ice that kind of, like, skids you forward and kind of difficult to deal with. I don't know what these guys do. I think I can jump on their spear? Or maybe bounce off of it? I don't know. But I'm gonna just do this for now. So, is all these... I think that one just throws spears. I'm assuming there's gonna be others that actually, uh... Do more terrible things to you that have axes and try to attack you. They look like Vikings, so it would make sense if they had some with, like, giant axes. Woohoo! Imagine, I feel like fire should be super effective against these guys since this is an ice level, but oh well. I'm really surprised it didn't hurt me, but I'm not going to complain. Alright, so hopefully we can have some better luck in this uh, episode than we've been having. I've just been playing pretty poorly, and since this is now like my third, you know, this is now my third video that I've recorded in a row, so I'm kind of hoping that I can actually play pretty well since I've been playing for a while. That's usually what I hope, but sometimes what we want and what we get are two entirely different things. Jump around a little bit like an idiot. And you know, I have all this money, but I can't even really use it because I pretty much spent all my money on all the good things I can get. At least I'm pretty sure. Which is a bit of a bummer, like I was hoping for some more upgrades or some more like... The armor stuff was cool, but I didn't really feel like it was all that great. Are these things gonna like explode? I don't know why I feel like they're gonna explode, but I definitely do. Ooh, bomb. That was cool, like the explosion happened outside. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay. So, all right. So there's that. <laughs> I just saw it and immediately reacted to the fact that there were spikes falling on me and I clearly did not react the right way. All I had to do was just like stand there and I panicked. I just thought I was gonna like break through the snow and go straight into the spikes, but I guess the idea is that you can create platforms, which I mean, I guess is cool, but it is not expected. And also, that actually had me, yeah, I guess it that far. Usually when they introduce stuff like the, that specifically new, yeah, blow up the dragon. Dragon, dragon, blow up the dragon, dragon, balls -y. Don't like this. I don't know what it is about it, but it makes me really nervous. I feel like there should be a secret over here somewhere. But I guess it's just that. Okay, so we have that. We have snow platforms. Give me something good, game. Please. Ooh. The fireball should just go straight through that attack. Oh, well. Just get back over there nice and safely. See, I'm just trying to take it a little slower today, you know? We only have one level. It kind of demands you take it slowly, so I'm, I'm gonna do that. It's 
platforms just make me super nervous. Like, I just don't trust them. Until they give me a reason to, I won't. Oh, dang. Hidden bombs. What? That is beautiful. Wait, I'm confused, though, how this works. That is really good. People are just throwing stuff into the garbage outside, so I apologize for all the noise. This is so cool. And that wasn't meant to be an ice pun, but I guess it was a pretty nice pun. Shit. Bye. That is really cool. I love it spews rainbows. all the gems over here. I can't believe I just left that. I don't know, I'm getting to that point though where I don't really care as much about the money I get in this game because it just doesn't, I don't feel like I can really use it as much anymore. Wait, am I supposed to get this? Oh, I see what they want me to do. You know, the thing that's interesting about this is I usually hate this kind of thing too, where you have like a platform you have to like guide all the way to like a certain point in the level. I'm not sure what it is about this one that I don't mind. I think it's the fact that you don't actually have to stay on the platform to use I mean, like, shit. for whatever reason, I'm having trouble describing what I mean, but, like, you don't have to, like, sit, uh, like, the platform, like, you don't have to be on top of the platform, you just kind of have to guide it along. That makes sense. I don't really feel like I need to explain it any better than that. Oh, and there's a thing over here. I'm just surprised we haven't ran into Chester, but I'm almost positive, I mean, we have to sooner or later, because, well, that was a weird bout of slowdown. I wonder if I'm running out of hard drive space, as I was earlier. I should probably check that before I keep going. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm supposed to bounce off this thing. But not break the thing that's down there. Okay. Oh wait, there's a thing. There's a thing, you guys. I don't want that. Okay, I think it's gone. I just don't want it to come back and kill me. I like that I'm just like hiding out in that bush. Give me something good! Eh, that's not really what I wanted, but I'll take it, I guess. Look at these. What is this, Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong Jr., actually, is what it would be. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I can't use this, can I? Yeah. Wait, can I bounce them back up at him? Oh god! Oh, okay, I'm not dead. Oh! <laughs> oh no, it's a diamond checkpoint. Something crazy is gonna happen to me. I'm not looking forward to this. What am I doing? seems much simpler than I thought. And here's Chester. Hey buddy, what you got? Warhorn. Clear space around you with a powerful blow. <laughs> okay. Oh, and that means there's a thing now. Oh, and we only have one item left we find in the game. Oh goodness. Nice, so we have like an area attack now. Seems kind of crazy that, uh, Start, we didn't start with something like that. That's usually one of those items you find pretty early on in a game like this. But I usually don't like big area of effect weapons. I never use them. Or I should say utilize them. That is essentially what it is. Lack of utilization. Oh wait, I see what they want me to do. They don't want me to fish from here. I'm not gonna worry about it. Ooh. Wait, shit. No, don't do that. Alright, let's go. Let's go! Kinda looks like a choke in a weird way. It might just be that it's like a 
looks like a, it's just like a large bird, but it's two headed, so that kind of takes away from that. Bounce, 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 bounce. Give that toot, toot. Give me near that beep, beep. Finally, a use for the dumb anchor that I never use. Wait, what is this? Okay, never mind. Let's just go up here. It's like, where do I go? What am I supposed to trust fall this game? And I refuse to do that. I will not be betrayed again. Ooh, dang. That was a trust fall right there, though, I guess. These guys aren't actually all that threatening. I just don't want to take... Never mind. I don't want to take dumb damage from something like easy to to, to dodge, and I totally did that. Oops. Oh, I didn't get that one. Bomb! What? Oh, I forgot about like snowflakes. Stop! Ooh, dang. Uh, let's get our invincibility out. And I'm sure this isn't that bad. It's just if there is a problem, I have a backup. Oh, and of course I say that, and I don't even use it. I, I couldn't react fast enough. All the monies. No. Man, we were probably really close to getting to another checkpoint, too. This level doesn't seem nearly as difficult as, uh, that airship level was, like, the worst. Not, like, it was a good level, but, like, it just had so many things that I just cannot stand. And that's not really the game's fault. I'm not gonna go, okay, really? Come on! <laughs> I'm not, I wasn't gonna go back because I really don't need treasure until I probably, I will probably end up finding out that I totally do need treasure still, but... I, you know. Not my problem. <sighs> and of course I'm talking about levels like, oh, this level's easy. But then I just keep having issues. It's that snow, like those snow platforms that like collapse. It, my brain does not adjust well to that kind of like stuff because it's like, oh shit, there's a platform, we gotta jump. Or like, it's this, I think it's just the idea that they're falling is what gets me. Oh wait, I thought I had a different thing than that. What would hit me? Oh, that. Let's see if we get up there and murder him. Why? Why do I insist on being terrible? <laughs> I wonder if that'll actually work. Yeah, that works just as well as throwing the anchors. I should really just try to, I feel bad that I, like, but that's the thing, since this is a let's play, like I'm more willing to do something that's a little cheap in order to continue to progress because I don't want to sit here and play the same level over and try to make commentary over. I mean, obviously that's what editing is for, but I, it, it becomes really jarring to try and edit out like, you know, five, like not the editing, it's not the editing itself, it's jarring, it's just the, I think that for my commentary, it makes it really hard to get back to whatever I was saying, like, if I like have to pause or anything. Unless it's like, you know, I actually have to get pretty, I have to get pretty far back to where I was. I don't really know how I died. But this sorcerer dude is surprisingly annoying. I should probably switch back to this. Don't even care. Damn it. 
Looks like they hit the page for a minute. But I think it was just bouncing. I'm just gonna just gotta get out of here. What's what is is this this is the boss fight, is it? Oh I guess it is. Okay, good. Hm. So my old friend, the days have finally come. This will be our final duel. Should we la not lay down our shovels and part as equals? <laughs> the, sh the order has no equals. Surely you can recognize power. Join us. You've forgotten our oath. What happened to the proud warrior I knew? <laughs> no more words. The bitter cold will claim you. I really like the idea that these guys are both shovel knights. Like, I didn't even really think about that. It's really funny, though. His name is shoveling. Oh, now he is. Whoa! <laughs> This guy knows. This guy knows what he's doing. I'm gonna die though. I don't have enough health to really get through this fight. Shit. Ah, oh, damn it. I knew that was gonna happen. But hey, we got like halfway through his health without really uh, taking too much damage. So, like, we we had like maybe three hearts left. So if we can get that far in that amount of time, I'm pretty confident we can do this without much issue. Look. I think the, the key to this fight is not being like super like super greedy with your attacks. Oh, and actually, I should probably try to destroy his his balls as often as possible. I just hate fights that have spikes, yo. Like, they're really frustrating. I guess I just need to be patient and wait for him to come to me and then, like do that kind of stuff. All right, I'm gonna switch to the phase lock now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, damn, spikes. Oh, I see, and then they recover it. That's kind of cool. So we did it. That was a cool fight. And that was a cool level. I liked pretty much everything about it. And now we gotta take a little sleepy time. Time to save what's most important to us. Can I switch weapons when I'm doing this phase? Nope. That sucks. But I guess phase one is still really useful. So. It does waste a lot of time to use. Oh, damn. These guys drop a lot. No! Okay, I got her. <laughs> I don't really know what the benefit is of actually catching her. I mean, I haven't, I guess I haven't seen what happens when you don't, so. You got this chest though. Meal ticket. Delicious. Delicious meal ticket. All right. So I think that means we unlocked the final area. Oh, damn. There's two levels though. So what do we have? Tower of Fate entrance. Okay, I wonder if there, there's probably, there's gotta be more than that. This game is really trying to be like Mega Man and all those other games, like there's gotta be something else. Um, but I'll go ahead and run over here real quick and do the things that I need to do. Hello. Let's see, cool reception. How about you try penning a manuscript when it's cold cold, you can't feel your highly dexterous hands. That's funny. Here's a meal ticket. I'm assuming this is the last meal ticket I get, right? It's probably a fair assumption. Give me something good. What? Mmm. Meat. Delicious. Alright, so that's gonna be all for this episode. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to like the video, comment down below anything you're thinking, and uh, subscribe to the channel. That way you know whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye bye.